Hi there, my name is Pablo Farias Navarro and I will be your instructor in this course. In this course, you'll learn to create from absolute scratch the game that you are seeing on the screen, where you have to move one character from one end of the screen to the other end of the screen, sort of like Frogger or Crossy Road, games like that. And you'll be learning how to create this game using the Phaser framework. Um, the only requirement for this course is for you to have basic JavaScript skills, we're going to introduce Phaser from absolute scratch so you'll learn how to build this amazing game. Um, you'll be learning about sprites, which are the you know, players and enemies on the screen. You'll learn how to work with groups, a convenient way of dealing with multiple sprites. Um, we'll go through um, how to detect user input so that you can move that character. And it will work on the computer and on a touch screen as well. So it can work with the mouse or the touch screen. Um, we'll go through the basics of collision detection so you can learn how to detect when different elements are overlapping, something key when making games. And um, we're going to end up by covering some basic camera effects. So as you can see, when the player runs into one of the enemies, the, the, there's like a shake up camera effect and also fade out before the game restarts. Uh, so you're going to learn how to do that, which will also give us the chance to introduce events, another important topic. Um, when it comes to our courses, and besides making courses, I also take a lot of courses all the time. I'm always learning things. Um, something that I really like about courses, and it's one of the reasons why we make them, is because they empower people to learn regardless of their own learning style. For example, let's say that you are a visual learner. You can watch somebody creating the game on the screen. But if you are somebody who learns by doing, a kinesthetic learner, um, you can follow along, you can code along and build everything and, and play around with the code, the source code, so that you can learn as well. Um, we recommend that students revisit the lessons so that once you complete a lesson, uh, you can watch it again in the future when you need that, uh, to, you need a bit of a reminder of how to do something. And also it always helps if you are building your own projects. So if you, if you already have a game idea, you can start working on that game and put in practice the, the things that you learn in the course. You can put them in your own game as you learn them. And we've seen that people who plan for success really uh, get the most out of our material. For example, people who allocate certain days of the week to complete the courses and stick to that plan, even if it's once a week, ideally like three times a week, but depends on how much time you have. So it really adapts to your own schedule and learning style. And if you make learning a priority, you will get so much out of this training. All right, well, thanks for watching this introduction. Now let's get started and let's start making games.